Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News. And if you're just joining us tonight, we're talking about consent in age. And our question is, should the consent in age be lowered? That is from 18 to 16. And with me in studio is Eric Avo, a reverend at the ACK St. Paul's, and Sylvia Maru, who is a social worker. Thank you very much, guys, for finding time to come and talk about this thing with us because this is a very sensitive issue. And some judges came out and say that they think that the sexual consent age should be lowered from the age of 18 to 16. Our first question for the night would be, do you agree to that and why? It's a, it's a gray area mm -hmm. for me, if okay. you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a yes or no, but my no goes strongly. Mm -hmm. uh, if I ask anyone, mm -hmm. And it's a journey, even the reverend is here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he asks his uh, followers, maybe the teenagers, mm -hmm. when was their first sexual encounter? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll come back to that mm -hmm. and let him first talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, Kavo, Eric, mm -hmm. do you agree to this? Absolutely, I can't agree to that. Mm -hmm. I can approve to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as part of the religious body, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, um, part of part of the religious body now me being here mm -hmm. I'm actually saying it's a no mm -hmm. if you allow me I can maybe just give you a gray as she was actually talking about okay, it. I just go ahead. give you some great points on that mm -hmm. but one thing I can tell you is why should you allow mm -hmm. young people no, let's talk about children here mm -hmm. children begin to involve themselves into sexual activities mm -hmm. first of all the Constitution under the labor laws yeah. strictly and very properly talks about you should not have underage and underage you're talking about 18 years yes, and below working mm -hmm. if they work that is child mm -hmm. labor mm -hmm. so here you're having somebody mm -hmm. a child you want them to get involved mm -hmm. into sexual activities mm -hmm. at the end of the day they might find themselves giving birth okay maybe at the at the age of maybe 16 years old mm -hmm. or maybe 17 years mm -hmm. they will need to have those children mm -hmm. i mean those ch that that child that they, that they bought they need to look for something to to give them to yeah. feed them yeah. because they need um, employment who i mean which kind of employer is going to employ somebody who doesn't have an id first of all that is creating confusion okay they are going to depend on their parents. Mm -hmm. They're going to actually look to bring more confusion mm -hmm. to the families. Mm -hmm. And of course, they'll be able to give you more if, okay. you know, if time allows. So now the argument is that our kids know way too much. They are exposed to a lot of information. And with there's no way that we can be able to really probably limit what they know. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is, an, is it a right argument? I think it's a lazy argument, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Mm -hmm. It's really a lazy argument. Mm -hmm. um, we can't say because you know how to cook ugali mm -hmm. at the age of four, mm -hmm. then it is, it's, it's appropriate for you to go to the kitchen and cook. Mm -hmm. What are the dangers that are there? Mm -hmm. So do you know how to handle the gas mm -hmm. if you're using gas? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to handle uh, the sulfuria, okay. the boiling water? Mm -hmm. It's the same case at 16 years. Mm -hmm. So you are exposed to the knowledge of sex. Mm -hmm. But does it mean that you have the right in engaging into sex? Mm -hmm. When we're saying that that we give consent to 16-year-olds. Okay. As he has already said, an 18-year-old can get employment and things. Mm -hmm. Let us look at sex and look at the consequences, mm -hmm. not just at the sex as an act. And thinking that because uh, we are going to consent, then we are going to prevent uh, people from going to jail because mm -hmm. even the girls consented. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. we don't. We don't. Have, we can't look at it at that from that angle. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, I don't see the sense that people have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have to argue that mm -hmm. now they can engage in sex. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What about you, Eric? Uh, they should not. As I was saying, is is not. That's not what you're advocating. We're actually advocating for. Not, not people to start, you know, just looking for ways to satisfy mm -hmm. what they know. Mm -hmm. The fact that somebody has knowledge of something doesn't give them the skill set mm -hmm. to do what they know about. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that I know myself, okay. but I try not to do them because that is not, I, I, I mean, that, that is not what I want in my life. Mm -hmm. The fact that these children know too much, mm -hmm. We, we can't just give them, we can't just have people just, you know, giving birth to children mm -hmm. or maybe having, uh, you know, sexual immorality everywhere. Already we are prostitution mm -hmm. as, a, as, as an issue. Mm -hmm. We are having people just, uh, you know, branding sponsorship, you know, how we call it, my sponsor mm -hmm. and all that. We, actually, we, we already have a crisis. Mm -hmm. So the fact that now we want to legally okay. allow children to start, 
you know, involving themselves to sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. It is more than a crisis. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it is one of the issues that now we, we need to be talking about. Because yes. at the end of the day, first of all, I talked about there'll be uh, issues of unemployment. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me ask you this. How many graduates do we have who don't have jobs? They're actually out there. Mm -hmm. They can't feed their families. Mm -hmm. Now we are bringing our children here mm -hmm. to start involving themselves with sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they, do, they, they even don't know more about cons I mean, co contraceptives. Mm -hmm. And if they use them, they might use them in the wrong direction mm -hmm. because their minds are still young. They still want to do everything because, you know, Life is also a skill. How you carry your life is also a skill. Okay. So if they don't you've, have that skill... You've mentioned that <laughs> they are still young. Yes. But I want to bring out a statement uh, by the judges where they say that they may not have attained the age of maturity, but they may well have reached the age of discretion and are able to make intelligent and informed decisions about their lives and their bodies. Is a 14-year-old really able to decide and make a very firm decision as far as sex, sex or any other decision? in life had they really ready uh, because it's the argument of the judge to say that i think it should be lowered because these people are comfortable they have made the decision of what they want to do with their bodies they are quite aware and saying that most of these uh, young people they engage in sex willingly i'd like to ask uh why are we normalizing sex mm -hmm. <laughs> Why, really why are we normalizing sex mm -hmm. there are other things when you're growing but why sex only so it is your body, yes. Mm -hmm. But are you in your right state mm -hmm. of making the right decision when it comes to sex? Like I said, sex has a long-term consequence. Yes, it's true. not like, like, and I insist, I'll just use the four-year-old again. Mm -hmm. It's not like house chores and stuff. Sex comes with responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So I'll go back to the judges. Are you informing these people what sex is? Are you informing them why, why they should engage and why they should not engage in sex? Mm -hmm. Before normalizing, that's why I said it's a very lazy, lazy excuse. Mm -hmm. uh, from the judges, from the guys who refuse to say we should have sex education in school, mm -hmm. because people have uh, random ideas mm -hmm. about sex. All they know is, all they have is curiosity. Mm -hmm. They want to know, so we are being forbidden about sex. Mm -hmm. Let us try. Mm -hmm. Why are we not looking at these people who are over age and are trying to have sex with underage? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah? yes. Why are we not looking at that? But we're not giving them excuses whereby a uh, 16 she consented. Mm -hmm. It's lazy. Mm -hmm. Trust you, like I just it's so lazy for you as mm -hmm. the judges to sit down and think. So I don't see the need really mm -hmm. to be honest. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kavo. It's more of a moral issue than a legal issue here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sex is sacred. Mm -hmm. When, when you do sex with somebody, you get connected, you soul <coughs> Um Spiritual professors or whatever they have been able to do, whatever <laughs> kind of you know, religion they have, yeah. they have actually been able to, uh, to come up and uh, you know, satisfy that this mm -hmm. is what happens, there's yes. a soul tie. Mm -hmm. So this is more of a moral issue than of a law issue. We, we can't actually start bringing too much, um, too much of you know, uh, things about sex to, mm -hmm. to law. Now, one thing I, was, uh, I also want to add on top is, you see, at the end of the day, this, uh, the fact that somebody has been educated, let me give a very good example. The fact that I have knowledge over something doesn't give me the skill to handle what I know. Mm -hmm. When somebody gets into edu I mean, um, to, to a job opportunity, they are normally given a probation period to learn on how uh, you know, they, they will be able to actualize those skills. Yes. The fact that you are educated doesn't really make you the best employee. Mm -hmm. You must have the skills. It's just like in marriage, you must have the skills. Marriage is a skill. Mm -hmm. So even you to contain yourself, it is about a skill. Mm -hmm. These people don't have skills. You ask them, they don't have mentors. They don't have people whom I mean, they can ask. Even get in sex, mm -hmm. what more? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it just more about sex? What is it more about? Mm -hmm. They don't have people that they can ask. They just, they just want to do just because they read mm -hmm. in a book. Mm -hmm. Having a sex, I mean, having sex with somebody or intercourse feels this way. Mm -hmm. You know, you actually know about peer pressure. Mm -hmm. How many things have I, have you, been able to be influenced okay. through your peer? Okay. It's too much. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we can't just prove. You know, people can just continue having sex or engaging into sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. I told you we have better issues to deal with. Yeah. That then law needs is. to. I mean, that, that then law needs to protect mm -hmm. issues of corruption. Issues. Of, the rest we can leave to the religious. Okay. Okay. Uh, so can I add something <laughs> on top of it? Okay. I think I like to ask. Who is protecting the innocence of these young ones? Mm -hmm. That is just the question. Mm -hmm. So if you are saying that at 16 I, have, I can have sex and consent, then at 16 I should be drinking, mm 
You know, mm -hmm. every vice will just roll so the that bitch. That is the argument of yeah. now that you're changing, the, uh, you're, you're changing the sexual yeah. consent age from 18 mm -hmm. to 16, yes. uh -huh. then we start changing it from the, the drinking yes, from drinking, 18 to 16. Yes, working. Uh, and then we know. realize that, <laughs> that, 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 those, that those are the age of 12 and 13, mm -hmm. we know way too much, and then yes. we start thinking again of going we go to 12. Back again, you see. And so my question is, we're uh -huh. talking about not having the freedom to really have uh, sex conversations with the kids in school. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I had a, I, I, there, there's a teacher who was giving our own views somewhere, and she said, "We only tell these kids sex is bad, mm -hmm. and the moment they engage in it, they realize it is not bad. So, what type of information should we now give to, our, to to the young people? What are we supposed to be telling them to make sure that we we also do not say that we are protecting them and we are guiding them and we are not really going way front with them?" Okay, mm -hmm. um, with all. Honesty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all this information should not start from the school. Mm -hmm. It will. St it should start from home. Mm -hmm. It will start from your guardian, from your parent, from your mother. You know, anyone. Mm -hmm. And when they're communicating about sex, they should not call it tabi mm -hmm. You know. Yes. That's 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 the phrase that is used. Mm -hmm. They should not tell you that yo kitu. You mm -hmm. know. They should just come out right and tell you mm -hmm. that whatever you are carrying is a vagina. You mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. So that is where it should. Sorry for you yeah, know. No yeah, of course, it's, Holy it's Ghost one day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, we have to yeah. be real. But we, we have to be real. Yes. We have to be real. So when it comes to sex, I remember uh, my mom, and I, I love her for this. She she insisted on telling me that mm -hmm. sex is a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. but it happens between mm -hmm. two people who are in love or are mar you know married. Yes. And it is it was good for my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And like now, whereby you're just told, mm -hmm. if, if a kid wants to ask about it, you ni kitu watu wakubwa. Yes. What is this that is for big people mm -hmm. that people want to know? Mm -hmm. I'll give an example whereby you'd find people maybe they are living in. Okay, so let's use an example of informal settlement. Mm -hmm. You'll find that uh, they're living in a one-room house. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the bed is a double decker. Mm -hmm. The parents are sleeping down mm -hmm. and the kids are sleeping on top. Yes. So if when the parents are doing their quadrigal activities, then the kids will somehow want to emulate whatever their parents are doing. Mm -hmm. So this issue of sex should just go back. To the to, to, to the, the houses and yeah. it will go back to the households mm -hmm. where the parents will be sincere mm -hmm. what sex is. Sex is an activity that you know entails a man and a woman, mm -hmm. and this this is what happens during sex, okay. and this is the experience. Mm -hmm. But it has a time. Mm -hmm. Also, it has a consequence. Remember, consequence, and yes. this consequence has an outcome. Are you ready for the outcome? That should be the question. Okay, mm -hmm. I want you to okay. deal with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the church, what role is the church playing in, in this? Does the church encourage us to talk to young kids about sex and be open <coughs> and be so open about it and tell them what exactly it is? What role does the church have in all this? I'll say the church is really, is really doing its work. Mm -hmm. um, trying to have many conferences. If you go through your social media, mm -hmm. you find different churches, different mm -hmm. denominations. Okay. They always have, you know, these conferences to do with the teens and youth to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. There are some of the churches that are quite, you know, open about it. Mm -hmm. I, I can't really speak for on behalf of all the churches, but mm -hmm. I can say for us in the Anglican, we have been able to have many, you know, kind of conferences for that. But one thing I'll um, simply go back to and say is that we have people have neglected their roles as a family. Mm -hmm. I normally say the family comes first before church. Mm -hmm. So if, if, for example, like I'm Mchungaji, for example, my family is not in order, I don't know why I should come to the church and mm -hmm. do what God tells me to do. And you've not the done first, it at home. Yes, and mm -hmm. I've not done it at home. So one thing I'll still go back to, I'll continue to say that, people are not taking family very important. Mm -hmm. They're not sitting down, parents are not sitting down, they're not talking with their children, telling them, as my sister just said, that this is the right way, this is not the right way. Mm -hmm. When you do this way, this is what is going to happen. Another thing I'm also talking about together with the family is that people are not being encouraged to have families. People are just being encouraged to become single mothers or to have contract marriages. Mm -hmm. Where are we taking this, this, this kind of a life at the end of the day? So the biggest play, I mean the biggest role to be played is by the families. They need to know that the family is where things start before the church okay. because this is where you spend more time the church you know it's just like a, like a small portion of, mm -hmm. of your time so the, ch the, the, the family is where a lot of time is taken and again I'll finish by saying this you see if you have a, a, a place where the, the mother and the father is sexualizing everything 
the children will grow up knowing everything is meant to be sexualized. Yes. And again, also the media, uh, I, I'm not blaming the media, mm -hmm. but I have also learned a little bit of some PR. Mm -hmm. But the PR people, they normally tell us that if you want something to sell, sexualize it, mm -hmm. sex sells. Mm -hmm. So w we also have a way. At the end of the day, it trickles down to the parent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're coming back to home, okay. I mean to your home, mm -hmm. your parent should be able to speak to you mm -hmm. because that's where you spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And also to the schools. Are the teachers doing a lot of time? Are, are they talking to the children? Are we having, there was a debate of having sex education being introduced in school. Mm -hmm. There's a point at which you can introduce it, mm -hmm. uh, maybe at around when they are teens, because they get to understand, because curiosity, as they say, kills the cat. Yes. Because if they don't know, they, they will do it, because they don't know. Yeah. And somebody says, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Mm -hmm. So they might be educated, but if they're ignorant, they will end up in issues. Yeah. Exactly. So now, what do we do? Because we do not want this consent age to be lowered from 18 to 16, so how now do we protect these kids? How now do we educate them and inform them and create awareness about sex and see more girls in school and also make sure that the, these people who take advantage of teenagers, who take advantage of uh, small girls, do not have to do that again by not lowering now the sexual consent age? I'll begin by saying mm -hmm. under 18 is an under 18. Mm -hmm. And an 18 does not have the ability to make the right appropriate mm -hmm. decisions. Okay. So that's where I'll begin from. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to our societies. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to our homes. We'll go back to our schools. We'll go back to our workplace and every other place that is needed to, you know, create this awareness. Fact is, you know, th this bill all started because of people are being uh, accused yeah. because of... There was a story of a, yeah. a, a lady, mm -hmm. a, a man was jailed because mm -hmm. the man did not pay mm -hmm. the agreement they had with the father. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and it was a sense of, you know, still the girl consented, yes. as in there was consent mm -hmm. according to their own uh, yeah. Yeah, story. And like I said before, uh, protection is key. The law needs to protect the girls, the law needs, nowadays even boys are being raped by the it's way, true. so the, the, the law needs to protect the boys too. Mm -hmm. We need to teach people, like he said, we need to give knowledge about sex. Let us not be ourselves ignorant that they do not know. They know, they know even more than we know. We are living in an age of social media where everything is publicized. You would think that uh, it's only Facebook. There are so many sites. Hang out with teenagers. They have so many sites whereby, I'll give you a story. So there's this app that they have uh, where teenagers, 18 and below, uh, meet. Uh, they have sponsors who may be foreigners or uh, locals. Mm -hmm. They gather. They don't even know who they are chatting with. They will be picked maybe from Kenya Cinema or from archives. And then they are taken for OGs. 18 and below. Oh my God. <laughs> that is happening. That is the sad reality. <laughs> but the, if, if, if we should go on the sad reality, remember when I started mm -hmm. asking with my nini, I told you, when is the first uh, age of the first sexual encounter of people? Mm -hmm. Many people with the whole, and I'll destroy you, kiddo, it's between <laughs> 9 and 12. Yes. Eh? And this 9 mm -hmm. and 12, to longo ndani, and then kukopi kopi, yes. you know, coping what you saw your, yes, your mom and dad mm -hmm. doing. So at this age of, we should go back to the root cause of age between 9 and 12, where the curiosity begins, where their innocence is being now, bloss is now blossoming, they're now blossoming from being babies to being transitioning to, to, be, uh, to yeah. being adults. So we should go back to the root cause. We've already seen that the 13, 14, 15 are already engaging. But hope is lost. I mean, we've not lost hope with them. Yes. So we go back to our 9, 10, 11, 12. Make a foundation with them. Let them know that there's an act called sex. Probably you know about it. Probably you've seen about it. Mm -hmm. But remember, and I'll repeat my words, there are consequences and there are outcomes. Okay. Consequences can be you know, uh, pregnancy, pregnancy, HIV, HIV you know, STIs, STIs yes. things like this. Mm. Those are the consequences. And at 14 and 13, and I won't lie, you'd find that many teenagers have already engaged in sex or are anticipating. Maybe because uh, they've grown, eh? Yeah, they're anticipating. They're to small changes. Yes, they're, they're anticipating <laughs> to have sex. Yes. In the urban settings, it can be a little bit hard mm -hmm. to engage in sex. But let mm. us go back to our rural areas. Kuna shambaya mind. 
mini ya avocado as in mm. there are so many places where it can just, be yeah. Yeah, but here thank god to all mama plot we should love them if they see you doing mini and like, hey, yeah, yeah. why journey i saw your son you know we should appreciate this to mamas but you know that is aside we go back to this 9 10 11 12 okay. create a strong foundation as a parent communicate to your kid okay. do not leave your child to be raised by the teachers i do not give the the, the option whereby you think teachers should no mm. parents should that's true. Parents should. Okay. Yeah, it should start, start from the home, then mm. we go to the church, then the school, then the everywhere. Mm. Okay. Parents should. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. get Kavo's thoughts on that. What should we do? Because now we don't want to endanger our kids mm. by saying that 16 is okay to have sex. Yes. What do we do? So go back, as we were saying, to the families. Mm -hmm. If the family, if we have, we're just, in fact, we have, the laws that we have for the marriage, they're actually so strict. Mm -hmm. uh, people are just taking for granted. But the problem came in when uh, people are just taking marriage as a contract. Mm -hmm. I'll still go back to the families and tell, and, 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 and tell every, each and every little parent, mm -hmm. I mean, and not little, but each and every <laughs> parent, that they need to do, they, they need to do their role. Yeah. When you let social media become the parent, mm -hmm. when you let your neighbors become the parent of your children, when you let the world become the parent, the world is never soft. Mm -hmm. In case they normally say, as your phones on a mama, your phones on a ulimwengu. And when the ulimwengu teaches yeah, you, it's, it's, it's rough. rough. It's tough. It's tough. Yes. So at the end of the day, the family should be the first to mm -hmm. do that. Even before we're talking about the churches, the churches, we are there to pray. We are there to have all those, you know, I have seen people who come to conferences. They become hyped about it for around, you know, around a week or two or something. They go and tell their parents, you know, I've changed. But the percentage of the people that change is quite minimal. Mm -hmm. the, the, the church are playing our role. But at the end of the day, the parents should know. I don't want to tell people, you're the one who made a concert with, together with your partner to come with a child. So don't, don't start doing things, I mean, don't just start bringing children that you can't manage. It is a scene, mm -hmm. because you're, you're just bringing somebody to, you know, Kuteseka. That, that's one of the greatest problems. Okay. And I'm telling them, I mean, uh, as she was also saying, as much as you introduce all that kind of education, people should be real mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. I love telling people, be real with me. Because the moment I'll tell you, be, I mean, we are real about things, we not start having curiosity. Yes. I'll just start being, you know, doing things that I'm just scared not to say, but they are just disturbing me. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I mean, I, I'll end up meeting with somebody mm -hmm. who has never been taught. Mm -hmm. And they'll pretend that they know. Mm -hmm. So for me, ending up with somebody who is pretending to know and they don't know, I'm in the same category. Okay. So the, the good thing is, Let's go to the families. And if somebody doesn't have a family or maybe orphanage or something, at the end of the day, the person who is mentoring you, look for somebody who can mentor you. Mm -hmm. Somebody who can tell you facts as they are. Mm -hmm. And if you think sex is, is becoming so much to you, as my sister said, there are consequences for that. Yes. You might end up mm -hmm. having the joy of seconds or minutes, yeah, so <laughs> but ruin the rest know, of your life. life. Yes, so you better sure. choose. And one thing, I'll finish up by saying this. Mm -hmm. God created trees, never created furniture. That means we need to have a mind to think for ourselves. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for really finding time to talk uh, about this topic. And it's my hope that mm. people really are not going to take this into consideration and probably take it to parliament. So I've seen in some counties that they, 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 they have opposed mm -hmm. it. So I'm hoping many more people are going to come out <coughs> and say that we cannot do this to our young kids. So parents, if you're watching from home, you have a young sister, you have a young brother, be real with these kids. Let's share information, but not lie to them and tell them that Nitabi Ambaya use whatever information that is right, use it on the right way and explain to these kids. And then we're going to be to have created a very better environment for them to have knowledge and know when they need to use that knowledge. That is all we end for you tonight on Y254 News. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.